In just a couple of years, drones flying around Seoul for four food deliveries could be a common sight, bringing us a step closer to the successful commercialization of urban air mobility. The 2023 Drone Show Korea kicked off today with all the latest technology. Our Lee Dae-yong was there and follows this report from Busan. Military drones, drones that detect gas leaks, and drones used for deliveries. It's Asia's largest drone exhibition, the 2023 Drone Show Korea. Hosted by the Trade Ministry, the three-day event kicked off on Thursday in the city of Busan with the latest trends in urban air mobility, or UAM. Korean Urban Air Mobility, also dubbed KUAM, is a project that tests the vehicle's safety and traffic management functions with the aim of commercialization in 2025. The land ministry earlier on Tuesday announced that it will conduct an operational demonstration in August with 46 companies and consortiums. Here you can check out drones that are being tested by the government who are looking to commercialize the sector in the near future. One company that has been making a concerted effort to develop its UAM business is telecommunications giant SK Telecom. It has an MOU with the land ministry to take part in the government-led demonstration program. Here it showcases its mobilized robot and live cast drone video system, which can transmit the video from the drone's camera in real time. We provide remote control solutions in robots and drones to around 90 client companies. Further from drones, body mounted cameras, and smartphones, we expanded the business into AI robots this year and even added gas leak detection and thermal imaging options. The country's national carrier, Korean Air, introduces drones from its aerospace business division, such as its medium-altitude unmanned aerial vehicle, which only four countries around the world possess. It's equipped with a high-tech sensor that can monitor targets at higher altitudes. Korean Air has also developed drones that inspect the exteriors of its aircraft to check for any safety issues. Not just private companies, but South Korea's defense ministry also presents AI-based drone robot combat systems that can be utilized on land, in the air, or at sea. The Defense Acquisition Program Administration is working to boost its weapons drone business. In a roadmap released by the land ministry, the global UAM market is forecasted to grow to 10.9 billion U.S. dollars in 2025, over 61 billion dollars in 2030, before reaching up to 609 billion dollars in 2040. The domestic market is expected to be at over 10 billion dollars, producing more than 17 billion dollars worth of economic effect, while creating jobs for around 160,000 people. Lee Dae-hyun, Arirang News, Busan.